In this video tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to record your screen even with your camera using a very simple software which is open source and is available for anyone available in different kind of operating system be it Windows, be it Linux, be it Mac operating system. I'll show you how to download, install and use it. And that software is none other than OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. I've been using it to record most of my tutorials because it's a bit, it's free of charge and the quality is superb. And these um, file sizes are very much okay compared to other platforms or like Camtasia or the about. So all you need is to come to your Google browser to download and install it. You can come here and just type OBS and you can see the first one, Open Broadcaster Software, OBS. You just click on it. And it should bring you over here so you can choose directly from your operating system is it is it windows is it mac os or is it linux you can just go ahead click on any of them and you can download it alternatively you can come to the downloads over here and be able to see the latest releases and the different kind of versions that you have the latest release was, uh, was released on may 9th okay which is the latest one you can just go ahead and download accordingly and install on your computer it's very easy to install it's a step-by-step -step process you can just follow and install it so once you install you can come all, all the way to the launch part over here and you can see it installed obs you just click on obs you to start recording your screen so the first thing the very first thing that i used to do is i come to the top over here you can come over here to tools um, you can come to the tools over here and say auto configuration wizard you can just click on this and it's going to automatically configure your system to fit in the according to your system strength okay so whatever you're going to record it's going to automatically select the settings for you and it's going to give you the best best settings okay so you can see now are you optimizing for streaming or recording uh, recording is secondary so which one are you optimizing is it streaming or recording for this one i'm going to optimize for recording and if you are optimizing for just recording i will not be streaming uh, which means i will not be going live you can just come over here and see i'm optimizing for recording and not streaming i will only be using the virtual camera if this is what you want you can select accordingly and whichever one you select it's going to optimize according to that selection so for let's say for this tutorial we are going to optimize for just recording and i will not be streaming so once you select this you can click on ok and it's going to select ask you to uh, check out the video settings you can use 1920 by 1080 which is the canvas resolution and you can check the frame rate per second usually the average is 30 but you can check around and see you can go up to 60 but let's leave it at default to choose between 60 and 30 which one is okay for me so i can go to next and once you go to next it's going to start doing the scanning it's going to start scan your system okay and it's going to make the best selections for you so just give it some seconds and it's going to do the scanning and give you the best suggestions that can work best for your system so you can see now it has just finished okay that's finished with the scanning let's say testing complete the program has determined uh, these estimated settings are the most ideal for you this is the encoder okay the software encoder the recording encoder the high quality the recording quality you can see the resolution you can see the frame rate per second it's going to go as far as 60. you can apply these settings with just a simple click and then you can start recording your video or your screen so all you need is just to come down here so before you start anything i want to expose you to the settings you can come to the settings over here you can just click on the settings and you can see the general settings which involves different kind of language setting updates if you want output I usually don't touch anything here the scenes okay you can check this is preview importers studio mode i usually don't touch anything here if you are streaming you can come over here and change some settings i made a complete video about how to stream using obs i'll link it up in the description and then one of the most important points to check is the output so you can check the output and usually what you choose to happen here is to choose the location where you want to put it so you can just come over here the recording location you can specify choose a particular location where you want to save the recording so as soon as it finish you finish recording your screen you can go to that file and you find it over there so usually you can just click go to your maybe desktop create a file we can call it obs and then click on ok and it's going to save everything that you are recording into that particular file the streaming uh, settings i leave everything at default you want to change the recording file format you can change to different kind of file format frv to mp4 i usually leave it at mp4 and you can change anything any other thing if you want but for me i don't change anything the audio you can select and change accordingly okay usually i leave everything at default also 
and then you can have the video in cases if you want to have the video recorded in different kind of formats you can go ahead and specify but the selection i have is completely okay for me and the video frame rate per second is 60 i can uh, everything has been set if you want to check out the hotkeys you can go ahead but for now this is the settings i need i can just close on this and i can come down here you can see but down here i have different kind of features that i can show you so the first one is to start with a scene let's say we can click on the plus sign to create a scene so you can call it scene 2 or you can call it a particular name that you are recording for example screen record so this is the scene so i created a scene so you can come over here and add the sources which sources do you want you can see them over here from the audio inputs capture you can select audio output capture you can select how you want the audio to be outputted or how you want the audio to be inputted for this case i can select the audio input capture and i can name it as i want but for this one i just want to leave it as it is and make source visible i can just click on ok and then we can select which device you want to record in so you can just click on this and you see all the list of audio devices that you've connected with your system right now i'm using the rode nt usb which is the one i'm going to select as my source for the recording in this i can just click on ok and you can see it here as a source it has added it as a source this is my audio recording audio capture device and you can click on this plus sign also to add other sources for example if you want to show your screen you can go to display capture if you want to record your screen directly you can say this is my screen okay so you can just say okay to this and you can see the screen uh, right now you can see okay to this and you can see the arrangement so what i usually do i can right click and come to i can come to transform over here and you can come down here and say fit to screen and it's going to fit everything to your screen so this is your entire screen i'll show you how to record later with just one simple click um uh, if you want to add another one for example if you want to add to record your spot your 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 camera or anything then you can add it also as a scene if you want or you can say video capture device over here you can select and if you want to add you can just say my camera over here if you have multiple cameras also you can record with that okay but for this tutorial i'm just going to limit it to my own camera so you can select which camera you want to use for this one i'm just using the computer camera so you can see it at this moment i don't want to show my face but you can see what i'm trying to say this is just an example you can check the preset if you want it to be the highest quality you can leave it and you can say okay to this okay and you can just go ahead and click on okay and you can see you have uh, captured everything you can just specify the location you can make it smaller and maybe change the location however you want to place it wherever you want to place it you can just bring it and just position it over there so all you need to start recording is you can come this is the uh, sources you finish with the sources and these are the audio mixers okay you can check out the audio mixers at this moment you can check the audio this is the input capture you can be able to monitor the frequency over here if it is going uh, towards the red sign which means it's too high you're too close to the camera as you can see now it's too high but if you are a bit away from the camera maybe like two centimeters away three centimeters away you can see ju just be within the green screen green line and the orange line is good is good it's perfect you can check the audio the desktop audio this is but for this tutorial for this recording you don't need to touch anything from here so all you need is to come over here to the controls and start recording so once you click on start recording it's going to start recording your screen and your camera and you have the option to just go ahead and start recording anything so right now it is recording so you can check out the screen and you can search for anything Come down here and search for anything because you are recording the screen and you can go ahead and check anything you want okay so once you're done recording and you're done you're starting with what you have recorded you can come over here to the top of your screen you can click on this and you have the option to stop the recording from here you can stop the recording or you can come back to your obs click on this 
you can pause the recording from here by pausing here directly or you can stop the recording just by clicking on stop and it has stopped the recording and you can be able to access your recording by coming to the files over here and just use show recording and it's going to show it directly in that particular folder that you've tried to save it so in our own case it is in the and you can see it over here you can see it over here the one you've just recorded you can just double click to have a preview of it and you can click to play it to start recording your and search for anything because you are recording the screen i think that's perfect and fantastic so you can just go ahead and start editing your videos and you can publish if you want you can use other software to edit it but to record your screen this is just a bit about how to record your screen using obs okay open broadcaster software and it's completely free of charge so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one bye